All right. Clinton. So, yeah, okay. you just suffered through that go. six guitar I experience. Did. Yeah. So now we're going to try and – Paul wants a little payback for me. So he's going to – we've decided – that I'm, I, I just ended that last video with the six saying, have somebody else play the guitar. And the thing is, you know, it, it'd be great if they're really good, but maybe that's not matching what you, you would be doing on the really guitar. Bad. <laughs> no, well, this is the point though, right? It's like, uh, theoretically, we would expect the guitar to speak for itself regardless of the hands that play yeah. it, right? Because, you know, there are comments all the time that this player or that player could make anything sound good or... Yeah. Conversely, maybe that guitar would sound good in anybody's hands. But the point is, can your ears pick out the distinctive features of the guitar, regardless of the complexity or the style of attack? There's all these intricacies in how people play. Can you still pick it out when it's a, no offense, a relatively simple strum? And yes. that's where we're going to challenge myself. I'm going to do with. the relatively simple strum. Now, and we're yeah. going to compare today a Martin yeah. D18 and a Gibson J45, which are two of... My favorites, two of the store's favorites, and uh, you know we know Quentin loves these, and um, I, I, I know really you love, love these too. I love them both, but, now, uh, which has been I'm an just, evolution over the last. couple I just want to see if you can tell the difference, and then I want you to just play them and give the the folks what the differences okay. are. Okay, well, so we'll, we'll, I'll put the blindfold on first. Yep. We'll see if I can yeah. pick out which one is which. Yep, and then you can just do a, a review then, of both then, of them. Then I'll play a little bit and just yeah. talk about what I like about both. Yeah. Okay. It's Sounds just, like a plan. You know, it's a mahogany battle. All right, all right. They're both really good, as you can see from the last video, where I had to do six of them. Yeah, it's miserable. This is isn't like it? easy for you. This is one or the other. Which one? And, and so tell you, me which I do one's have which. the advantage of having come off that your video. Yep. Yeah, and you just played these, so it's not yeah, like. Yeah. So let's see what happens, because like you said, with the blindfold on, it's definitely. I am fortunate. I think I've mentioned before. This is my good ear. This is the ear that was up against the amps all those years in college playing. Yep, yep, when it was yep. so loud. It was just a. Ooh, you know, sound on stage. So this is this is the good ear. We'll see if we can pick it out. Okay. Okay. Right, that's one. That's one. Get this started here. I think you had a challenge with these two as well. All right, I'm just, it's 50 50 toss up. I'm going to say that's the 18. Okay, you're wrong. I was, so there you go. See, all this right. is. Uh, Take the blindfold off. All right. Now, what I like about both of them, and what is really hard in the room to hear the difference in, what I'm listening for, what I'm focusing on, I should probably put my glasses on too so that I can see what I'm doing is is some depth okay. now let well, me see that guy again ears, a lot of people's ears will buy the more bass whatever has more yeah. bass that's the sorry all, all yeah. about the bass i'm all about yeah. the bass but i hear that's what i'm hearing both of these is, is a lot of depth but yeah 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 it's a uh, like I said, when you're, when you're looking with your eyes and you're listening to it, it's a whole different thing. It is. Plus, there's just moments where you would want that guitar for certain things and you'd want this for certain things. So I, I agree. And, yeah. you know, I think uh, there's a lot of other factors, like the way I play it versus whatever you were doing, which I suspect was some thumb strumming. Um, That's the only thing I do. You got I do my G and my D and my C. and. But, you know, I think... Now let I me think, see that uh, one again. Um, you know, I was when I playing this earlier. It's got a lot more yeah. depth than I typically would have associated. Again, again, because I'm I'm biased by my years of being a quote unquote Martin guy. That Martin's where the where the depth well, is. But that's just you, not the case all the time. Bluegrass too. If you're playing a bluegrass gig, you probably are going to be more. Drunk. You probably would like this better, longer scale. strum them here at the end and uh yeah it was just kind of a fun you know two of our favorites yeah um just, so we know. both blew it on the 1845 yeah. in this instance yeah so maybe uh we'll, we'll challenge you at the end yeah. turn it on don't 
don't watch, we'll do guitar one, guitar two. Yeah. And see if you can pick out the difference between them. Cool. Yeah. All right, Quinn. Thanks again. You bet. See you all soon. All right. So Paul and I both had difficulty, to say the least, distinguishing between the 18 and the 45. So what we're going to invite you to do is take a moment, maybe just turn your head and listen. We'll introduce the guitars as guitar one and two, and we'll play a little bit on each one, and then we'll replicate the playing with maybe a slightly different style, some single note stuff. And then after about you know 40 seconds, we'll invite you to come back and take a guess. Were you able to figure out which one was the 18, which one was the 45? We had issues. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, but it'd be fun to try. So leave your comments down below. Let us know how you did with this little challenge. All right, without further ado, we're gonna go to guitar number one. That's guitar one. Here's guitar two. All right, we're going to go back to guitar one. And I'll just play some single note stuff, because maybe that's where the difference lies. Guitar one. Here's guitar two. So those were the samples. Were you able to tell the difference? Were you honest? Did you actually peek and uh, watch it and then claim that you got it right? Or did you actually get it right? It's a simple challenge. Nobody has to know but uh, whether or not you got it right or wrong. But leave your comments. Tell us what else you, uh, what are the types of challenges you might want to see? You know, what could we do uh, that, that you think might be interesting? Awesome. We'd love to hear your ideas to, to continue producing new and innovative content. So feel free to to share that with us. And thanks for watching.